Hello everyone, this is Bill Apter, and yes, you usually know me from professional wrestling, and you probably uh, knew who this guy was, too. Uh, you used to be uh, the Concrete Cowboy. Yes. That's it. And, you remembered. How nice I, of you. I remember. I used to travel around the wrestling circuit, and, and I remember back in the days in New York, back in the old WWWF, I used to take pictures of you and, uh, and your partner, Sweet Daddy. Sweet Daddy White. Yeah, yes, yeah. Indeed. And a lot of people watching this don't realize that beside being in the wrestling business that both of us are in the entertainment field and have been I, me since I was hey, gosh about nine years old what about since, you oh well if you're gonna lie I will too okay ten <laughs> since the 60s since the 60s we've okay. both been in this is actually my 43rd year and this would be your Oh, my, blah, 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 blah. Okay. but what, what we did, we, we actually grew up in the same neighborhood, and uh, um, a couple of weeks ago, and by the way, just to let you know, the two of us entertain in a uh, cabaret review called Just the Two of Us and Nobody Else Makes Three. How does I, that work? I have no idea. I'm bad at math. Oh, well, five out of four people are bad at fractions. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, um, Paul and I do this cabaret act, and by the way, you can catch that on YouTube. Just do a search on Bill Apter. Or, uh, or Concrete Cowboy. Or Concrete Cowboy, and uh, look at the videos on there, and there's a video called Cabaret Lives Again, and that'll give you a four-minute overlook of what we do. But a couple of weeks ago, um, we, we were talking about uh, what's all the, the junk and the memorabilia in both your basement and my basement, and, and you have an addict in your house. I don't have one in my house. So... I went. He said that he has no time to go into his attic, and I had some time to go into my basement. I said, let me go up in your attic and my basement and just see what memorabilia or well, junk. you fit up in the attic. I don't. <laughs> Actually, you're, he's a big guy. <laughs> but I, here's a couple of things I found here. All right? I found, remember your old record album here? The Stan and Laurel, the Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy record album? Well, yeah. I certainly do, wait, wait, Stanley. Wait, 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 wait. We're, we're in the wrong position. No, we're in the right position. So let's... We certainly are. Mm. Certainly are. Uh, so I found your old. The, how long? How long has it been since you've seen this album jacket? Um, who's president now? <laughs> <laughs> and then I found. I'm going to put this down over here. I found your old, uh, your old Jimmy Cagney uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy oh, album. Oh, I love that. I know you like yes, that. Yes, you do. Like we both that. do very much. I like that. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. And then. Who are you calling a dandy? Oh. Then in your attic here and. Oh I, no. In your attic. I found this picture of my father and your father, your pop and my pop, together hanging out at, at that place in New that, York. Well, place in New York, their place. Well, we we used to fondly call it Pop's place, and mm -hmm. and and through the years, Paul and I kept saying the one thing that we always wanted to do was no matter where it is, um, create something in honor to this great guy and this great guy to our pops and just call it Pops, pops place. place. Yeah, yeah. And we've been talking about this for years and you know all, all the places we go and entertain takes on the uh, an air of being Pops place because we always dedicate our shows to our, our pops and our moms too of course but there's just something about calling it Pops place that was wonderful. Well your dad was the uh, the lot of and yeah, yeah, vaudeville yeah. type of uh, yep. humor. And, That's true. Uh, my dad was with the big bands. Yep, yep. And they yep. both uh, actually got together often and talked about the old days, yeah, relived would, the old days, and kind of like we're doing now. Yeah, and that, now here's something amazing. We were always thinking, and we're always, you know, in our heads thinking of a prototype of uh, when we open a Pop's Place or we take Pop's Place on the road, because Pop's Place eventually is going on the road. It's coming to lounges. It's going to be on the radio. It's going to be right here uh, on Internet TV. But we kept saying, well, you know, we'd have to have a, a bar over here and, and the jukebox over here. And, the, and then... Coming to a theater near you. Yes, and then a few days ago, I was rummaging around in a collectible store, and I found Pop's Place. Let, let me get you this like for you. You like to rummage. You, you, talk, to, you talk, to them while I, talk to them while I... He is a there. rummaging individual. Rummaging person. But uh, as Bill was saying, we have been I on the road Pop's for. I found Pop's place. You found. Oh my goodness! Can you can you bring it up a little bit? Well, let me see. Yeah. Well, oh, there's a microphone in the middle. Oh. But why don't you point? Well, why don't you point out what's you've what? You've got the jukebox. There's the jukebox. The 
lounge type chairs and bar with the you know the the um, liquid libation right yeah and the then bar the, stools. Uh, the lounge setting over here with the uh the high top tables and the and the and the wraparounds and yeah yeah just the way yeah. we've always envisioned it that that would be pop's place yeah a nice friendly place where you could go and be entertained and meet with your friends and that's what we want to bring to the stage is that type of entertainment yeah now now until pop's place actually gets out there and, and we are traveling with it but until it pop's place becomes what you saw on this picture every once in a while we're going to be back here right on this site bringing you just some tidbits about uh little things. teasers yeah little teasers about pop's place uh maybe some uh maybe we'll delight them with a song or well something they can like also that. have pop's place for a fundraiser well that's true that's or true and, a party but, or a party, and what what phone number would they call? You have a direct line to Pop's Place. Yes, what, I do. What's the phone number? That would be the area code of 215-659-6706. And uh, you'll get this guy, because that's, uh, that's the direct line or to, uh, to Pop's. Or was in the office that day. Yeah, to Pop's Place. And uh, But every every once in a while, we're going to come back on here and... Uh, they can and email us, too. They where To you where? Need, do, and an email address. Yeah, that'd be really good. What's your email address? What's Pop's email oh, address? Pop's email. Well, you can actually email at paulbigbear at AOL.com. paulbigbear at AOL.com. And uh, as I was trying to say before, before I was so rudely interrupted. Well, you certainly were. I certainly was. That we'll be back every once in a while with some nostalgia tidbits. And, and good things to tell you and talk to you and let you know where we're going to be appearing, aren't we? Well, I didn't want to interrupt you again. We could also bring them some footage of, um, of, of what we do. Of our performances. Well, we can do well, that, too. You know, snippets and tidbits. And but it's all here, and we will be back, and uh, we're hoping to uh, see you at one of our events. In the meantime, Pops Place TV... And I want to step back into that former years. Pop's Place is coming to you. It'll be on the YouTube. It'll be on the radio. It'll be in theaters. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be big, brother. Big. Bigger than you've ever seen. <laughs> I think I'm officially scared. Woohoo! <laughs>